Hello everyone, today I will share to you the sweet story of the Lord in my life and how I came to know Him with all my heart. I was born to a Christian family, my mother along with my sister and brother. I remember those good old days when we would pray together before we eat, pray together before we sleep, pray together when I am sick, at home or suffering in the hospital. The times we go to church every Sunday morning to join the devotion time, the Sunday school, and the worship service. I joined every activity the church is implementing, such as daily vacation Bible school every summer, junior scout, annual fellowships, zone fellowships, conferences, you name it all for sure, I was present. I've always been so prepared when it comes to contests, memorizing every verse as my Sunday school teachers told me to memorize even studied all the Bible characters, events, numbers, and others that may be included in Bible Wizards, events in every fellowships and camps. The sad thing though was that I didn't know why I was there from the very start. Deep inside, I didn't know why I was even joining and memorizing all those verses and even participating. I didn't even come to think or question it. I sang solo, did acting presentations, and joined the Christmas concerts because I was told to. I just sang because they said, I have a beautiful voice. Hmm. And my mama was proud seeing me sing on the stage, which I later realized was strong from the start because I was just glorifying myself and not the Lord. Theoretically, I knew it was because of God's love for us. As a daughter, it was because I was obedient to my mother because she told me to. Going to church soon became a routine. It was summer of April, year 2005. I was nine at the time during the last day of our vacation Bible school. When my teacher asked us about our salvation and she asked this question, If you die today, where will you go? In hell or in heaven? It's funny that I've known Jesus Christ in my mind since I was in toddler's class. His wonderful stories, his parables, his miracles, I know, and I even memorized hundreds of verses. And yet, in my heart, I wasn't sure if I really received him as my personal Savior and Lord. At that time, I asked myself whether I am truly saved or not. The very words that my teacher asked kept ringing in my head, even the verse he quoted from the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Yes, it is a common verse, but that time I was reflecting on it so hard that I even cried remembering those years that I have not known him. Another verse also struck in my heart. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6, 23. I knew from my heart that I didn't have a relationship with God yet, and for the past years, I've known Him only in my mind, but never in my heart. I thought I was saved at time because I was always present in the church, joining almost all of the activities, being always obedient at school and at home, an achiever and a good daughter for my mother and father. Turned out that everything was a lie. My teacher further explained it to us, sharing another verse. For by grace ye have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. Then I realized that was the time for me to surrender my life to the Lord. The time for me to be truthful in my life. I prayed to God and admitted I was wrong. Wrong in every way that I am a sinner. I prayed and believed that Christ died on the cross for my sins and confessed all the wrong things I have done in my life, even the wrong motives I have been doing since then. I asked God to forgive me and repented to never go back again. And that day, I received Christ as my personal Savior and Lord and to be the center of my life. After I received Jesus Christ, I learned that I should obey and follow Him. It was a long and winding journey for me to realize it since I still struggle with sin. 
I still worry. I was unfaithful to him, but by God's grace, he sustained me. He molded me. He never left me and loved me unconditionally until I realized I needed to go back to him and realign my life to him again. I ask for forgiveness and confess every time I sin, since in his word, 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When you sin, never turn away from God. You must redirect your eyes and go back to him again. I am not perfect, but with the Father in my heart and my life, everything is in control. I couldn't have imagined this joyful life I have now. Serving Him and loving Him like the heart of King David is one thing I always pray to have. I know everyone has their own season because life is not a race. God loves you and has a wonderful plan for you.